I was supposed to make judgments about credibility, and who I was as a human being obviously played into that. Things that I might find uh, credible, let me give you a classic example, in the midst of the battles around Ferguson and Baltimore, the police abuse uh, scandals, um, I had been a civil rights lawyer. I, it was not a surprise to me that police officers some, sometimes didn't tell the truth. Uh, and so when a police officer was on the stand, that was not something that was, I didn't assume he was lying. I didn't assume he was telling the truth. I could envision that he was coloring what he was saying. Some of my colleagues who had had no experience ever as a criminal defense lawyer or no experience outside of big firm practice couldn't imagine that a police officer would lie. So experience and judgment and weighing play into ministerial decisions, procedural decisions, play into the content, the substance, the doctrine, play into credibility uh, decisions as well. So that puts me, I suppose, away from the robotic concept of the judge. Uh, but at the same token, I was constantly warring in my heart and in my opinions with uh, what my past had been. In other words, I was constantly weighing and measuring, uh, am I seeing this witness for, whom he, for who he is, or is, am, I, is it, am I looking at this through my, the prism of my experience too much? In one sense, that balance was easier for me because I knew exactly what I believed in. 